Hey, Ben Bob here. So a few years ago, we worked on a project at Real by Fake called Aftermath, and we had this huge bridge with tons of lights on it, and all the cars had lights, and the police lights, helicopter lights. You know, it was completely insane. It was really hard to manage, and that's why I decided to create the Light Manager, where you can manage everything about lights in a very simple UI interface. So let's check it out. The light editor will give you a list of all the lights in your scene and you can search the lights if you want. So you can type, for example, bounce and I will see all the lights that have bounce in the name. You can, of course, turn them on and off just by clicking on the light icon here. But there's another thing that you can do that's very cool is that you can isolate the light. If you click on this little round button here, like for example, area light, I click here and I only see this light now. So that's very cool if you want to evaluate the light, what it does actually. And then you can change the parameters after this. So I can change the intensity. I could change the color if I want to. So I'll click here, make it, I don't know, this, uh, whatever, this color here. You can also click on the little finger icon here that will select the light. So if you click on this, it's just selected in the outliner. And if you want to see all the other settings for the light, you just click on the little triangle here to expand the list. And now you will see all the settings that are available for this kind of light. You can even change the kind of light if you want right there. You can also look at them by kind. So if you click on this button here, they all group under point lights and spotlight, area lights, all in groups like this. So you can collapse the group if you want to have a cleaner interface. You can also turn them on and off, of course, and you can also isolate them the same way you can do with individual lights. So I can turn them back on and I want to isolate one group. So if I click this, I only see the spotlights in the scene. If you click on collections, then you can adjust them per render layer, which is very cool. So if I go, for example, the radio here, I could say I only want the lights for the radio, so I will turn everything off and then I will get only these lights and then I can switch to another render layer, let's say go, and then I will adjust as needed. So maybe for this one, I just want, I don't know, the main lights. I will turn everything off, then I just adjusted everything per render layer. Little message for the developers. We also have a light link editor to link your lights. And it's really cool because you have three columns, all the lights, all the meshes and the collections, and you can easily make the links. So you can here filter all the selected lights, or you can see all the visible lights, or you can reset everything that will turn everything off. So let's uh, select the light here. I will take the sun here and I could say I want the sun to be linked to these objects here. I just need to click on the light link and that's it. The link is done. You can make the link for an entire collection if you want, or both the meshes and the collections. And here, if instead I click on shadow link, then I just link the bounce light and the sunlight to the robots collection. So it's much easier than having to go into the properties and try to figure out where you need to change this and you can only do it one light at a time. And it's not a very cool UI. So that's why I created the light links. It's much easier to manage. You get all your lights, all your meshes, all your collections. So yeah, no more missing in there. All the groups are going to be created automatically. Oh, and I forgot to mention that you can also filter the lists. And finally, if you use light groups, you're going to like this one here. So you just create a light group. So I will take this one, I will rename it the radio. And then I just select the lights that I want to assign it. And I click on assign and that's it. These lights have been assigned to the radio group. It's that simple. Again, you get access to all your lights, all your light groups in one area, in one UI, and you don't need to mess in the properties anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna go take a nap with my cat. Bye.